we successfully created a customer and added into the list right now let's see how to retrieve all the customer as well as the specific customer by passing what the customer id so in order to do that i'm going to create one method called get customers which is going to return the list of customer object the method is what you know public right so i'm going to call return customer service dot get customers right so in order to publish this api so i have to use the annotation call get mapping because what this is get request we're going to retrieve all the customers list right now consider we can retrieve the all the customer now that is a scenario i want to retrieve only the specific customer by passing what the customer id so i have to do that so public customer i'm going to name this method actually what you know customer get customer so here i'm going to use again a get mapping but in this case i'm going to pass the url as what you know customer id so what exactly this one you know when you call a slash customers with the get request you will receive what you know all the customer when you call slash customers slash id the particular customer id you pass you will receive only what the single customer object so now in order to achieve that you have to pass integer customer id right so now what you have to do in order to receive this customer id from the request and store it into this customer variable you have to use annotation call path variable right in the path variable i have to mention customer id the same name you have to mention it over here right now written i'm going to call the customer service class get the customer then pass what the customer id right now we successfully added two method in our customer resource one is going to retrieve all the customer another one is going to retrieve the specific customer based on the customer id right let me quickly run this application we'll see whether it's working or not here we go our customer application has started successfully now go to what you know your postman i'm going to add a customer first right so call the post method so now you can see what one customer is added let me add one more customer robert john the mail id is robert at red of dineshkrish.com right let me hit you can see what you know two customer is created now let's check whether we are getting the customer list or not by calling the get method if you call localhost 8080 slash customers you should receive what the list of customers right great we are receiving what the list of customer now let's see whether we are able to receive one customer by using what you know the specific customer id right i'm going to pass what you know customer id as 2 let me call this api here we go we able to get what specific customer also by using what customer id